So, Kingdom Hearts. What a wonderful series. This is my childhood right here. Yeah, that gone to waste. What are you kidding me? King. So back in 2002, we got Disney and Square Enix teaming up to make a game. I understand Square Enix, but... DISNEY?! But it actually turned out to be a good game. We got Satan Kingdom Hearts, the original, very good. A sequel, another sequel, a remake of a sequel, and... A prequel slash sequel to a sequel, which is a prequel of a sequel, which, well, pretty much just makes a prequel. I don't get it either. Just... Anyways, good games. Bad game. I hate this game! <laughs> We're gonna review every single one of these games. Every Kingdom Hearts. We've got this one. We've got this one. This one. And this one, which basically amounts to three good games. And two Just not so good ones. Yeah. First on our list, the first game. It's good. Our equipment includes a standard PS2. Yes, the best system of all time. Thank you very much. A TV, which is much older than you think it is. It is a dinosaur. Frankly, I'm pretty sure this little tiny cabinet's gonna break under the weight soon enough, and that ain't good for that. But anyways, we've got the classic game itself, and a controller with the best football team ever. Yep. So, and a sort of gamer crap everywhere. My life. Here we are with the opening of Kingdom Hearts. It's a beautiful cutscene, I have to say, or a title screen. I have not beaten this game, but it's good. I have. Shut up. <laughs> and then we'll start off right at Halloween Town. Loading, looting. Quite possibly one of the hardest locations in the entire game. I haven't played this in a while either, so I gotta get used to the camera again. Hmm. The camera is a little weird, Dave. It's a little awkward, so to speak. Yeah, I mean, the R2 and the L2 buttons aren't quite as natural as the right analog stick, I've always found. Yeah, but the, luckily, that's what sequels are for. Now, I love the amount of options in this game. It's like, like so the much... Amount of, like, the amount of stuff you can be able to put on one character is just kind of mind-blowing after a while. Like, so when you get all the these... End, it's, like there's all your, it's like all your uh, equipment, there's your weapons, there's your healing items and such. Excuse Car me. It's typical RPG stuff, but in 3D! Which I actually works. Here's our journal. It actually tells you everything you've done already. Wow! I wonder how I know what I've done already, Josh. It's, 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 it's amazing. Yeah, I know. Not! <laughs> See, the point is, though, no one likes Goofy. Yeah, this dorky snout is... <laughs> Stupid behavior and near death in the sequel. Oh, cool! Some heartless. This brings us to our actual game. Yeah, right. If you never heard of Kingdom Hearts, you've been living under a rock. Oh, look, a mummy. <laughs> Weirdest looking mummy ever. I haven't hit a single one of them yet. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I gotta say, if you never heard of Kingdom Hearts, quite simply, you've lived under you've lived under a rock. Frankly, I love the combat system in this game. It's just, it's innovative, it it's very fun, it's RPG without being like Final Fantasy turn-based. Trust it's, me, I hate it's not that. A it's not a classical turn-based in any sense of the word. It's more like just... Just kill everyone. <laughs> it's more like an action RPG, so to speak. Kind of like Final Fantasy Versus 13 is supposed to be developed as. What would really help here is some aerial recovery. Uh, you know what, I'm you just don't gonna go the, out... You don't have that ability, do you? I don't know. You suck. Anyways, let's go out to the map screen. We have a few things to say about that. 
But some good comments about this game would be it's a very difficult game, but at the it's same a, time... It's a good challenge. It makes it all the more rewarding to beat. Let's just say that. Sure, but at the same time, some of these bosses are way too, too powered. Un yeah, way too unforgiving. So here's the map Especially screen. I absolutely hate the map screen. I hate to say it. It's very clunky to control. Yeah. And frankly, I hate the gummy ship parts. As and you well. have to do them every time. Every time you discover a new world, it just gets freaking ridiculous. See, the point is... We I mean, all once, know you get, once you get the warp drive, you can just go right there instead of flying to it. Which See, God these parts are what like. need to go. I mean, it, thank God it serves the only purpose that it should. See, but this but is a warp, warp zone. So much more helpful, but unfortunately... Oh, is this what I think it is? Yes, Josh. Yes. <laughs> ah! My ears are bleeding! So now I'm a dolphin Zora. Yeah, in the probably most goofy... Ha, <laughs> goofy. In the most goofy <laughs> world ever. Oh look, on the there's ghosts goofy. in the water. That makes no sense. Uh-huh. But here is where I really get annoyed by bosses, especially in this area. Ursula is, is fat, ugly, and you and can't beat her. She's practically unbeatable. That's all I can really say. Practically guys. unbeatable, she is. Well, I have not found a way yet. Well, that's what strategy guys are for. Oh, what? oh, great. So now we're in a long, dark tunnel. Oh, I remember the scene from the movie. The only difference is that it was way more glum and depressing. Frankly, I think we've had enough of this game. It's yeah. Fair. I mean, we can have more comments for it, but at the same time, I mean, you can't get much better. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good game for the time. I mean, it was like the first of its kind, an action RPG where you can actually free roam and do whatever you want, just about whenever. Wow, where have I heard something and like this, that before? And by the way, these are so much fun. Uh, uh, yeah, you get your you get your standard physical attacks, you get your magic spells, you get summons and items, which you get later in the game. See, we've been dissing this game a lot, but frankly, if you don't haven't played it by now, I should probably find you and kill you. Yeah. So just play it. In other words, if you haven't played this game, well... You're kind of missing out. It's a good challenge, though. And so I apologize for being very clunky on the controls. I haven't played this one in a while, and it's very different to Kingdom Hearts 2, which is what I am used to. Yeah, Rick and I basically preferred Kingdom Hearts 2. But you'll find more about that later. Oh, good. A sunken ship and more ghosts. You know what? With that, I'm done. What about I'm you? Duh. Yeah, we're done. So, closing comments in Kingdom Hearts 1. Well, it's a good game in the PlayStation 2 library, but oh my god, is it difficult. See, the gameplay's a great formula. The graphics are pretty good for the time, I'd have to say that. Yes. But, you know, the, the MP gets annoying. You actually run out way too fast. Bosses, well, don't get They're, started. Just don't yeah, get started. Yes. And that's what's up for me. Josh, anything else? I'd say if you haven't bought it or heard of it, I would say that you're living under a rock. I will kill you, and, well, anyway, this okay. game, I give it a thumbs up. Check it out. So, the next game is, just, oh, Josh, anything you'd like to say before we pop her in? Well, it's probably the worst of the entire franchise. Enough said. But we're supposed to review it. Screw the review. No. I am not wasting another few hours of my life. It's not that... okay. <laughs> Let's review it, though. Oh, fair enough. But you're playing it. Damn it! <laughs>